Um, so how do you know which tool to use when? Um, so this is a probably quite an old Microsoft slide now, but I think it's really, really valuable um, in the way that it groups these things. So um, if you consider teams, you're in the loops of people you work with regularly and on specific tasks or, or, or projects. Um, so things like, um, uh, a good example is this webinar. We had a team created for this webinar. We were all able to collaborate on work on the slide deck, post ideas in, 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 in the chat, etc. But I'm also a member of a number of other different teams, whether that's for project work, uh, proposals, etc., or, or internal IT situations, for example. And those, those teams can be internal only, and then you can also extend them to customers or partners that you're working with as well. Um, the outer loop. Um, is people you want to connect with openly across the organization. So things like Yammer, where you can post a message that may be of interest to people and people can dive into Yammer as and when they see fit to interact with that or, or just view that and not even interact. Um, Outlook and email is for targeted communications. Um, email still seems to be sticking around no matter how much people try to move away from it. Um, it always has its place. Um, SharePoint is the content store effectively for, for the majority of these tools. So whether you're using Teams, you're using Yammer, or you're using OneDrive for Business, if you're storing a file that's being powered by SharePoint in some shape or form, and you're then getting the benefits of the co-authoring, versioning, etc. that SharePoint offers across the um, across those technologies. 